So could you tell me how uh, the electrophysiology research team collaborates with preclinical and the clinical research team here at the Texas Heart Institute? Absolutely. It really starts with our team because we have an interdisciplinary team, which means we have all kinds of people with different backgrounds working together to identify and solve these problems. So we have um, Dr. Mehdi Razavi, and he is the head of our lab. He is the director of the EPCRI, and he's a cardiologist electrophysiologist. So really an electrician of the heart. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because he works full time as a clinician, he gets to help us identify these problems. So this is really where our needs finding starts mm -hmm. with Dr. Razavi. And then we also work with uh, Dr. Payam Safavi Naini. He uh, is another MD mm -hmm. who helps us with our clinical research. So he helps us collaborate with the clinical research arm here at the Texas Heart Institute. So this includes everything from testing new drugs, testing new protocols, um, identifying unique trends among patients mm -hmm. in order to help identify the new therapies that could be used. Then we also have a team of engineers. So I'm one of the engineers, yes. um, and we actually have uh, a couple of others. So we have Skylar Bucken and we have Matthews John. And these are very talented, creative minds that we have in, in the EPCRI, and we feel very lucky to have them on board. And so what the engineers do, what we do really on this side, is we take the problems that Dr. Razavi uh, identifies, and then we start to brainstorm with him on new solutions. Like, how could we fix this problem with a tool? And so we work together to develop what we call a prototype. And so this prototype mm -hmm. is just a very early, almost like think about making something with Legos. Like if you could make a tool with Legos, it could do the job, but it's not what you're going to buy at Walmart, right? Depends on the Legos. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. I've seen people get incredibly creative. Absolutely. But, um, but yeah, so outside of Legoland, um, we will test these prototypes in a preclinical setting. Mm -hmm. So this is where we start to interface with uh, the preclinical group here at the Texas Heart Institute. So we are able to take our devices and actually use them in living things and see if they work and see what needs to be changed. And so we go through this iterative changing process in order to create the most ideal solution. And then we kind of work on the commercialization process from there. That's quite a bit of integration, it, it seems, uh, with all the different divisions within the electrophysiology research team, which is, is fascinating. And it sounds like you definitely provide quite a bit of value to all of the patients here at the Texas Heart Institute.